guys, Mike here at Amazed Tutorials. Welcome back. Well, today we're going to do another uh, request, and as you can see in front of you, we are going to model a rickshaw. All right. Now uh, I'm trying to going to give this uh, kind of my own twist. Okay. Uh, we only have this image, so we don't have the top view, view, front view, and so forth. So there are a couple of things we will need to figure out for ourselves. Okay. But let's just get started with this and see how we uh, how we do. All right, we're going to start with a simple polygon cube. We're going to drag that out in the grid. All right, and we're going to focus on creating the <coughs> basic shape, if you will. So we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. Uh, sorry, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box. Make sure you have your uh, single setting going on here. And let's do this, and we can tweak this later, so that's fine. Hit Q on your keyboard. Let's see how that is spacing out. Yeah. Right-click face, select that face, out of mesh, extrude. Hit W to bring that up. So that would kind of be our seat here. All right. And then we're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, go to Multiple, set that to 2. And we're going to add 2 right there. Hit Q on your keyboard, right click Edge. And we're going to select these two and hit R. And we're going to push that out to about there. And then we're going to go back to Mesh Tools, into the Edge Loop Tool Option Box, Single. And let's do one there. And check from our top view to see if that spacing is somewhat equal. Hit Q on your keyboard, double click on that edge. And make sure that this is square or very close to a square. All right, cool. So now that we've got that, hit Q on your keyboard, right click face, and we're going to select these faces here. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude under Face. Hit W, pull that up. So this gives us a very, very basic shape to start with. All right. Now, quite a lot of tweaking to do, but that's fine. We need to start somewhere, right? Okay. Now, what we can do is we can add a, a number of edge loops first. So we're going to go to Mesh Tools and Multiple, and we'll do, let's do six. And three. That's good. That will help us a lot. And then we'll do six and add them right there and hit Q on our keyboard. Okay. Now let's focus on this shape here. This is going up from our seat, going in and kind of curves up to the top. All right. So we're going to look at it from our side view. Let's close this down for a sec. And we're going to right click, go to vertex. Let's, let's say we grab these, hit W and start to bring that in. Skip one, skip one more. And just kind of continue that process. Now I'm going to push this back here, take the top one. And we'll just start to tweak this a little bit. And like I said before, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the one in front of us. And it's kind of cool to give it your own little twist, if you will.
Okay. So we got that. Now at the back end, you can see that that's curved as well. So we're going to focus on the back. Have to zoom in. These two are our ends. So we're going to take these and we're going to bring that up. Skip one at each end. And I don't know if that's enough, but we'll see that soon enough. Yeah, maybe a bit more. So I'll take those again. And just uh, bring that up a bit more. All right. So we got that. <coughs> now, one more thing that you can see is that as the shape of the rickshaw moves forward, you can see that in the back it's fairly wide and in the front it's kind of narrow, right? So what we can do there is take these vertices, hit R, and kind of scale it in a little bit. That definitely helps. And it's probably rounded at some point. So what we're going to do there is right click the object mode, select it, hit three on our keyboard, which will kind of smooth that out for us. All right. Now, right now it's a little bit too smooth, so we need to add some uh, subdivisions, but at least we have a general idea of what it's going to look like. Okay. So hit one to go back. Now we will have some armrests going on. So for those, what we'll do is we will Let's see, we need to tweak the shape a little bit more. We will create a platform. So right click vertex. A platform for these armrests to lean on. And I kind of, I didn't see that actually when we were starting on that. Yeah, that would work. I think it would. Still a bit much though. So I'm just going to take these. I'm going to bring them back here. But it's all a matter of personal taste, I think. It's just, uh, yeah, it's not bad. All right, <clears throat> cool. So now for the armrests, uh, what we'll do is right click face. We'll take these two, go to edit mesh, extrude. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna pull them out. And obviously we need to figure out how far they need to come out, but we'll, uh, we'll tweak that in a sec. And as you can see, we need to rotate this. So we're gonna hit E, we're gonna hold down the J key on our keyboard. And there we go. All right, that's cool. Just do a quick soft slide here, object mode, hit three. Okay, that needs some definite work, but that's okay. Okay, so what's next? So we have that. Um, we can decide to bring this bottom section in so we have space for the feet. So we'll right click, go to face, take these faces. Oops, that's a little bit much. Let's just uh, zoom in a little here. Okay. So we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude on our face, hit W. We're going to bring that back. Let's see from our side view. By hitting 4, how far we're going to bring that back. That would work. Okay. So we got that. All right, now we do need to bring the seating area out a little bit. 
So let's see if we can do that. Hit five for shaded mode. Actually, I should have identified my seat first. I'll do uh, vertex. I'll select one. Okay, that's here. So if we take these here and we kind of bring that out. That would give us a little bit more space for seating. All right, cool. So we've got that. Now I do want to make it a little bit more round in the back. Okay. So it's not so completely straight. So we're going to move up. We're going to drag select. Let's say these edges here, maybe one row more. Hit R and just pull that out a little bit not too much all right this gives a little bit of that rounded look okay all right so now that we got that we need to um maintain the shape so we need to add some edge loops and we'll figure out where soon enough we're going to go to edit uh, mesh tools insert edge loop tool we're going to add oops still got multiple going on sorry option box single setting there we go add an edge loop push that to the end push that to the end we're going to do one on top here which will help to maintain that shape. We'll do, let's see, we'll do one in the back, but not too close to the end. We want some roundness there. Okay, we'll do one there and there, there and there. And let's do one at the end right here. And we'll do one here and there. Q on your keyboard, right click object mode, hit three. All right, now we need one here, okay? So hit one or two actually. Mesh tool, insert edge loop tool. We'll do one there and one there, Q on the keyboard, object mode, hit three. Okay, works for me. All right, so what's next? Um, let's uh, create some nice pillows to go in there, all right? So we'll do one for the back first, create a polygon cube. Pull that up, hit W, and move that in and up. Let's check it from our back view so we can see what's going on. We'll hit four for our frame mode. Kind of hard to see this way, so we'll try it with five. I'm going to hit R, I'm going to scale it in just a bit. Hit W, bring that down. And then I'm going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool Option Box, Multiple 6. And we're going to add them right there. Hit Q on our keyboard, right click Vertex. And let's try to get them somewhat aligned with the shape of our chair. So we'll bring these down a little. And then start to bring them up. So, I have to zoom in, right click object mode, we're going to push that back, and when we smooth that out, it is very likely going to become smaller, there you go, 
but I also want to add some uh, buttons like in the example so what we'll do is we'll um, add some more edge loops single okay we're gonna add one up there one down there and then go to multiple and we'll do six we'll add them right there hit Q on our keyboard right click vertex let's select these vertices and then we're going to go up to uh, let's see edit mesh um, let's see where did I leave that thing just give me a sec guys where did it go where did it go there we go under face poke which gives us this. Um, okay, we're now going to take these vertices once again. Let's see if I can get them this way. A little bit too much. Um, take these. And then we're going to hit W. I'm sorry. I got a little bit too much going on here. I actually obviously just want the ones in the middle. Otherwise, my plan is not going to work. So just select the vertices that are on the cross sections. And I mean the cross sections in the faces, okay? So this is clear. Looks like we're good. Just gonna push that in a little bit. All right, right click object mode, select that, hit three. Okay, we've got a little problem here, looks like. Let's go back a few steps. Okay, we just need to get rid of that one. better okay right click object mode three for smooth select okay that's kind of nice all right then we're going to take that guy control d to duplicate we're going to pull that out we're going to hit e we're going to rotate that we'll flip it down W to bring it down, move that back in, check it from our top view, and that is kind of neat. Okay, cool. All right, so we got that. Now let's uh, focus on the wheels. All right, so in order to have wheels, we first need to have an axle and we need to have something to hold them. All right, so we're going to take a polygon pipe and we'll pull that up. Hit E, rotate that to 90. Hit W, move that over, move that down. And hit R to scale it in and let's see where this is positioned and it looks like it's around here 
Okay. Now from our front view, we're going to move on over here. And we're going to hit Control D. And let's move on over here. Uh, let's see, how far is that off? Right there and right there. Okay. Cool. Then we're going to take a polygon cylinder. Pull that out. Hit E. Rotate that to minus 90. Let's move that towards where it needs to be. W to move down. Move it over. Move it up. F to zoom in. R to scale down a lot. Once again, F to zoom in. And we're going to bring that inside. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. And now let's hit R and start to scale that. Hit W to move that over. And hit R to stretch that out. And let's see if we're inside the area where we need to be. Apparently not. Hit W, move that way over. Hit F to zoom in. And we're going to bring that in here. Pull that up. And hit R and scale that out a little to about there. All right, let's see what we got. Hit F to zoom in. Just going to change back my background color. I just like it a little bit better that way. Okay. Now, whether they're sticking out too far or not, we'll figure that out soon enough. But let's start with our wheel. So first, if we look at the section here, we have this uh, actual axle, sorry, axle piece. So for that, we'll take a uh, another polygon cylinder. We're going to bring that up. We're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, and let's do five. And bring them in. Hit Q. Let's kind of shape that. So I hit F to zoom in. Right click vertex. Hit R. Bring them in. And bring them in once again. Right click object mode. Hit 3 to smooth that out. Looks nice. E to rotate. Come on, to 90, <clears throat> now let's get that into position, W to move over, move that down, F to zoom in, 4 for wireframe mode, and we're just going to snap it. I tend to not snap things. Um, I've been told many, many times, why don't you snap? Well, I, I don't know. No really good reason. All right. Now let's focus on our wheel. Okay. We're going to take a polygon pipe. We're going to give that some height. And we're going to go into our attribute editor. Let's give that, let's say, 30 subdivisions. We'll do two in height. Just to quickly check that. Actually, we'll do three in height. That's a bit better. Okay. And we'll bring the thickness down to 0 0.1, which is a bit more appropriate. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that until we're at 90 and now we need to figure out okay so how big does this need to be so we're going to go to this view here and we'll just quickly take our reference image and move it out of the way 
so we have a slightly better view and we'll hit five okay so we got this guy we're gonna move that and we're gonna move it down let's hit four for wireframe mode now we have our pivot point in the middle so if we move that towards and snap it towards our pivot then we know that we're good okay now if you look at our reference you can see that the wheel is almost as high as the armrest which is quite big and it sticks out in behind as well so we're just going to raise that that would pretty much be it yeah it's not bad okay that's what we'll do all right now from this view we need to bring it in and we can simply check that from this angle which would be about here and then we're going to zoom in right click face we're going to select that face all around maybe make that a little bit wider so right click edge take these two edges hit R pull them out like so right click face now select that edge row and go to edit mesh extrude and hit R and just scale that out a little bit right click object mode hit 3 to smooth it out okay cool and back to one now for the spokes take a polygon cube drag it out make it nice and thin certainly not too thick bring that up let's check it from our side view hit F to zoom in five for shaded mode so again we can see what's going on and we're gonna hit F to zoom in four for wireframe mode we're going to snap it to our grid, so hold down V and snap it. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to stretch that out until we're just inside the wheel. Okay. Then we're going to hit Control D. We're going to hit E to rotate and we're going to hold down the J key. And that's not responding for some reason. Okay, doesn't matter. We'll rotate minus 15. And then hit Control D again. Oh, so now it's snapping. Hmm, interesting. Okay, anyway, we got one. And we're going to hit Shift D and go around until we are here and we're actually going to undo the last one because you already have that so these are our spokes let's drag select them hit w move them into our wheel and check them from the top hit four for wireframe mode so we can kind of see where they're at all right That looks nice and centered. Let's see. Okay. So we only need to bring the axle back in in a minute, but that's fine. We're going to select this as well. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. And we're going to move that over. Oh, sorry. Forgot to combine it. Mesh combine. W to move it. Check it from our top view. All right. Now we got this little guy here. Try to get it. 
we're going to hit Control D to duplicate, move it over, F to zoom in, E to rotate, rotate it all the way around, hit W to move it back in, F to zoom in, let's check it from this angle. Let's see how far we're going to bring that in. Two. We will do that. Well, let's just make sure we did that here as well. Okay, so one, two. There we go. Okay, now we just need to bring in the axle. This guy. So we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that in and uh, looks like we need to tweak it just a little bit okay all right cool so we got that next we're gonna create these extensions here if you want to call them the call them that all right and we'll do right click face select these two faces Edit Mesh Extrude, hit W and bring them out. And that's going to be quite a bit of length, even more than the main body. So this would be about right. We're going to hit uh, one on our keyboard. So we know that we need to add a section there and we need to create a cross section, but we'll do that in a sec. Go to Edit Mesh, uh, sorry, Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Single Setting. I'll push one in there, push one in there. Let's see how that thing is created. Okay, so we're going to take a polygon cube. We're going to pull that up just slightly. I'm going to bring that in, bring that down, check it from this view here, wrong view, check it from this view, okay, I'm going to bring that up, let's bring it to about here, and let's see how far that is sticking out. That's about right. Okay, we're going to select these and these. Object mode. Mesh combine. Hit three. That's holding fine. This needs some subdivision. So, insert edge loop tool. One there. One there. Hit Q. Right click object mode and hit three. Much better. Okay. So let's see what's next. Uh, and actually, we don't have that much more to do. We'll do these uh, fenders here. For that, I'm going to take a. Um, let's see what we'll do. We'll take a polygon. sense yeah okay polygon pipe pull that up hit E to rotate that until we're at 90 let's give that 30 subdivisions let's move towards this view here we're gonna hit W we're gonna bring that in F to zoom in we're gonna snap that to our axle white that should be good all right we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale that out now let's see it's moving from 
a little from around here just to the back here to almost at the feet okay good to know so the angle is good we're gonna right click get a face select all these faces get rid of them same here and same here okay we're gonna look at that angle again so from this view here first of all right click face get rid of the bottom half at least let's say to about there hit delete and then we don't need this section either and get rid of that right click object mode we're going to bring that in a little bit so we're going to scale it closer to where we need to be we're going to hit w and we're going to move it over our wheel we're going to bring that in a little bit hit r to scale it in just a little and then we're going to go to edit mesh extrude give it 0 0.15 thickness which kind of works let's select it hit three that's very nice actually and what you can see back here is that at the end it's coming up a little okay so we'll do that here we'll hit f to zoom in right click vertex hit w and we're gonna kind of bring that up like so pretty cool and what we'll do is figure out how this is mounted so there's a bracket down here going into the side okay so that's what we will need to do as well figure out where they got the space to do that okay reason being that the wheels are somewhat further out so we will need to do the same oops so right click object mode take my wheel and my spokes and that's not combined yet Okay, mesh combine, hit W, pull that out, and we'll do that, and then we'll take this guy and push that in a little, because that's what apparently is going on. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll create a bracket to hold that in place. Now, the bracket that I saw is something like this. Oops. And we'll do a section radius of 0 0.1. We'll do 30 subdivisions. And we're going to hit W. We're going to move that in. Okay, and then we're going to move that up, and you can see that that's our fender, if you will. So we're going to scale that down a bit, pull that in, and let's see if we can make this work for ourselves. That would just, just, just work. 
let's see if there's any way that we can do that differently. That's going to work. All right. So we're going to right click at a face and we're going to select that whole top part. Hopefully I'm not cutting off too much. That's cool. Okay. And then our wheel seems to be clear, so that's good. And then what we'll do is we'll take two little cylinders, bring that up, rotate that to 90. Uh, where'd it go? Yeah, that's good. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna bring that in, bring that up. F to zoom in. I'm gonna hit R, I'm gonna scale that in because I want it to be very thin. Just uh, bring that out. That's good. That's one. And then we'll do Control D to duplicate. Pull that up. Let's do that from this view. Hit five. Okay. And then Control D to bring that down. And let's do one over here. Have to zoom in, bring that down. There we go. All right, they seem to be good. We're gonna select one, two, three, and this section here. Mesh combine. Hit three to smooth. Yeah, that works. All right, cool. So now we need to transfer that stuff to the other end, including our fender. So actually we'll do mesh combine, modify center pivot, control D to duplicate. Let's bring that out. Now spacing wise, we need our fender to have the same distance, so hit five. Pretty cool. Then we're gonna go to mesh separate. We're gonna select these three, hit W and bring them in. So from our perspective view, modify center pivot bring them in, select this guy and this guy, mesh combine, hit three to smooth out. Okay, we are very close to completion. Let's just uh, check our reference here. Okay, so we got that all going on. One thing we do not have, and that's pretty critical, and that's kind of why it looks so low, is our spring set. Okay, let's quickly fix that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a, um, let's do a polygon cube, like so. Go to uh, Mesh Tools, Intro Loop Tool, Option Box, Multiple, let's do eight. Bring that in, Q on our keyboard, 
and we're just going to hit F and go to our cube. There it is. By now, we can go to object mode, take a reference image, and get rid of that. Okay, we're going to right click, go to vertex, and let's start to move them into a spring shape. All right, maybe even a bit more. We need to make sure that they have the look and feel of a set of blade springs. At least I think that's what they're called. Okay, now we're gonna hit F to zoom in. We're gonna need to add some edge loops. So intro to edge loop option box. And we'll do two, add them on the top here, hit Q, select them both and hit R and push them out. So it's gonna hold our shape. And we'll go back, option box, single setting, push one to the end there to the end there, hit Q, right click object mode, hit control D to duplicate, W to move down, E to rotate it around, and we are at 180, perfect, W to move up, oh, got a wrong handle, sorry, see what we got here okay select them both mesh combine hit three all right cool now let's uh, incorporate this into our object here so we're gonna take our main object with everything attached to it and we're just gonna bring that up. Sorry, got a mesh combine. Raise that up. Let's get our spring. Modify center pivot. Move that in. F to zoom in. Okay, now that spring is gonna be on top of our axle. So let's make sure that it's in the right position. That looks to be correct. Bring it down. There we go. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate it. We'll bring that over. And from our top view, we're going to hit 4 and make sure that we have the same spacing, which is kind of hard to see from this angle. So we'll do it from this angle. Okay. Hit 5. Okay, so this guy needs to be there. And then we'll take our main unit, if you want to call it that. And let's bring that down to a point where everything is still aligned. Still looks okay, but these two need to come in, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to do one there and one there. Now we can get rid of these guys. And this should get us very close to where we need to be. All right. Cool. So what we can do now is drag select the whole deal. Mesh combine. Hit three to smooth it out, just to be sure. 
Okay. Quickly create a ground plane. Stretch and stretch. Right click assign new material. Let's do a Fong E. Make that white. Then we're going to go to this view here. Take our object, hit W, move that up. Huh. Something's wrong with my spokes. Not quite sure what happened there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know what happened there. Um, that happened because when I smoothed them out, the spokes were not smooth. Um, okay, so let me think. Yeah. So I got all these. I got all these. Okay. Mesh combine. Cool. So now I can select everything. Then deselect my spokes. Hit three on my keyboard and we're good. And then, um, should have our rickshaw okay just gonna quickly set up some daylight mental ray indirect lighting physical sun and sky global illumination uh, sorry we'll set up um, HD 1080 in size and quality of about 1.5, okay? Feel free to texture this and so on. It's uh, not part of this tutorial, but I'd love to see what you guys make of it. Set up my resolution gate. And we'll just uh, give this a render. Don't mind that guy. That's another project I'm working on. This shouldn't take too long, so. We'll just give that a few more seconds. I'll just uh, quickly pause so you guys don't have to wait. Well, there you go, guys. This is our uh, rickshaw. Uh, like I said, I gave it my own little twist. Um, you can choose to make it modern, classic. You can add details, uh, obviously texture it and so forth. Uh, but as far as the method on how to approach uh, the model, uh, this is my approach and hopefully it's useful to you guys, all right? Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.